and yes it's that time again we are going to test panda dome advance and it's going to go up against arcabit internet security welcome everyone um we're going to quickly have a look at panda's um, settings okay under antivirus we have pretty much everything enabled give it 30 seconds to get a cloud verdict before the file is executed um, scan all the files we have an exclusion for our script um, firewalls been enabled uh, these are the rules it automatically um, creates and pretty much everything is enabled process monitor is enabled data shield is enabled and we selected documents downloads and pictures save browsing application control now let's have a quick look at um, Archibald. So all the main um, applications are enabled. Let's have a look at the settings. So on the antivirus it's enabled. Um, heuristics is set to high and all the auxiliaries um, are enabled. Um, safe storage is enabled. Um, email, we're not obviously testing. Uh, browser protection is set to normal. Um, scan HTTPS traffic as well. application control uh, let's maybe enable that okay it's saved and then round kick EDR is enabled okay so that's our protection okay so that's nice quick and easy let's get the malware extracted and get this test started okay now all the malware has been extracted we're going to look at the sample count 2638 seems like there's two samples less on this machine not sure why but that's fine two samples I don't think will make um, a huge difference now let's we can make sure that these products are up to date and you'll notice that Archibald's icon is not showing you at the bottom it was showing when I set up the VM but when I started up this VM the icon is not showing for some reason so we'll just make a note of that okay Panda seems to be updated I think we can start enabling the protection for Panda okay start at our virus okay Panda says we are protected and it is uh, up and running Okay, Archibald seems to be almost done. Okay, so the update is, is um, completed. Um, well, we'll just double check it again. Okay, update's finished. Let's go back to our protection. Start enabling it. Okay, so now everything is enabled that we are going to test. System is protected. So I think we can close this one. Okay, let's start with the website test. see what's going to happen uh, if you're wondering why my task manager looks so funny it is because it doesn't want to go underneath the taskbar now it is actually going because it was going over the taskbar so let's just move that back So as you guys can see panda is clean before we started same with Archibald okay just gonna wait for panda to open and then we'll look at the results okay so panda was just a little bit slow so let's have a look at Archibald's results in the meantime I'll just say keep see if it's removed Uh, 
Okay, so we have one blog page, another one, another one. Okay, so we do have a couple of blog pages here for the panda machine that's gonna say keep. I don't see any blog pages by Panda. Let's close this one. Let's look at our results. Okay, so it seems like Archibald did better than Panda. Um, we've got no downloaded files. And here we've got six items. So Archibald definitely did better on the web web, uh, malicious files, malicious downloads section, then Panda, so that's a good start for Archibald. Now let's see how well Archibald's going to do with the malware testing. Yeah, so the test seems to be running fairly quick on the Archibald machine. Okay, there's a power shell, there's one malware. Okay, so let's see what's running at Panda. Okay, let's check that one. Okay, so Panda saying virus detected, so that's good. Okay, so quite a couple of vendors, so there's David G, Dr. Web, Reset, uh, Google Mount Points, um, let's see pandas here, nope, I don't see panda. Okay, so there's pandas, so panda's not aware of this one, so I'll people stop it. Okay, let's close that up, there's a USC, let's go. Okay, so we only have one malware running so far. Panda, we already have two, so I think that's the same one, the 25, yeah, zero one. Okay, so now we already got three malware running Panda machine, and he stole one for Archibald. So as you guys can see in the beginning of the test, it seems like Archibald is doing a little bit better, but obviously the test has already started, and we've seen that products can do 90% well, and that last 10% in the test, they just completely fall apart. So yeah, so let's see what happened, guys. As you guys can see, fileless things are opening. Um, we have about four malware now running on a panda machine. Yeah, so I think this could be interesting. So let's see what happens, guys, and I'll show you guys the results. Okie dokie and we are back, apologies for the delay, I had to put the VMs on ice but I managed to finish the test and I must say this is actually a first on this channel that Panda actually survived, I don't know if you guys can actually believe that but Panda actually survived this test, I'm still um, in shock as I myself cannot believe it. <laughs> okay so let's quickly have a look at Panda, um, Process Explorer for them both um, is just unfortunately not opening. Uh, the Panda VM is obviously super super slow. Okay, so while we wait for Panda, let's maybe look at Archibald. So as you can see, we clearly have malware still running here. Um, I'm just going to quickly go through just to see. Obviously, here's another one. These definitely. Okay, so let's see if there's any startup items. Okay, so we have a couple of startup items here. They seem to be active. Uh, they should be fileless, I think. Yeah, so we've got a couple of JavaScripts here. Okay, so we have a couple of files here um, on startup. Okay, Panda VM is super, super slow, so let's just wait. Um, let's see if anything installed. Okay, so we have this um, FJ searcher that installed. 
and let's look at our documents document seems good, no ransomware infection there and our picture seems good as well let's see if panda started to respond ok so the panda VM is just super super slow let me just see if I can get it responding so that I can show you guys that ok looks like panda finally started to respond again so as you can see we have high CPU usage but we can see here that there is definitely um, some malware running here let's see if I can scroll down a bit so there is clearly active malware running on this machine um, would have been nice if Process Explorer was opening but it's unfortunately not ok so we clearly have um, some active threads running Oh, I did not show the startup items, I'll show that now. Ok, let's look at our uh, programs that are installed. So obviously we have, we've seen these searcher programs with the previous vendors. So we do have a couple of them. And then we have this uh, program installed here. Ok so I waited a bit but we are still not responding here on task manager so we will look at the startup items um, after the scans um, and then if we look at our documents we only have this um, application file here and then under our pictures Ok so our picture seems good as well so luckily no ransomware infection um, I am just going to restart these machines um, normally so that we can update them and then run our full scans and then we'll look at the results ok look you guys and we are back and you will not guess what happened obviously Panda is still scanning since yesterday and we are only now um, on 64% so I'm gonna um, stop the scan as you can see it also it's not detecting any malware and yes our wallpaper is black and we do have ransomware infection so it seems like we have a post infection which is really really odd um, you normally see it during execution so it could be that the ransomware was obviously still running on the machine but obviously took its time for the encryption to kind of um, evade detection maybe or from a user perspective not see immediate encryption so it could have been lurking in the system and just slowly over time starts to encrypt and encrypt and also to use low system resources so that you don't notice that your machine is most probably slowing down because that's one of the uh, or, and one of the things that you can notice when there's maybe um, a ransomware infection is your machine suddenly comes to like a crawl because it uses high a lot of resources to quickly encrypt the machine but it could be that this um, infection was just um, slowly using low resources to start encrypting and yes it is our old friend um, stop and deja vu so we've seen now a couple of providers um, succumbing to this um, ransomware so it's definitely undetected at this point and yeah so we unfortunately have um, encryption which is very very odd and as you saw no malware was detected with Archibald, um we did um, quarantine um, where is it at? we did quarantine all the malware during the scan but it still says that the machine is infected but I'm not going to quarantine it um, obviously machines only get one chance to do a scan let's just quickly look at the quarantine list that's very disappointing from Panda as I've stated before um, the full scan that this is the first time that it survived but obviously not um, there was this ransomware <laughs> lurking in the background laughing at me hiding in the bushes and then started affecting uh, this machine so unfortunately Panda has succumbed to this ok and the quarantine list is open um, that you'll notice also quarantine dates um, obviously um, on the 3rd is today that's when I quarantined the scanned results so you'll definitely see that malware was quarantined um, due to the full scan on the third but yeah um, it is still complaining that the machine is infected but I think we're going to restart these two machines so that we can do the third party opinion scans and then finish up this test ok 
Okay, so let's have a look at the final result. Um, with Heatpan Pro for the Panda machine, we obviously have 150 detections. Um, you can see it's all over the place. It's app data, it's program data. Um, yeah, so it's literally all over the place, but the majority seems to be in local temp, obviously where malware extracts. Um, and then obviously still some malware on the desktop and then program files and things like that. Um, with the Archibald machine, since after the restart we have no more internet access, so I was only able to do third-party opinion scanners that relied on signatures. Um, so obviously couldn't do any, any Hitman Pro results. Um, so it is possible that the machine is infected for malware to prevent any other third party ops, um, software to be downloaded or to do updates for signatures to be able to, de to detect the infections and things like that. So it could be due to the malware. Um, then we obviously have these scheduled tasks as you guys can see. So this machine is definitely infected um, even if you take the ransomware. Um, um, out of the equation. Now oh, we'll just close this. Okay, so malware bytes um, has reported uh, 936 um, problems. So obviously we have um, obviously infection, and we should have a couple of registry keys. Yeah, we have a couple of registry keys. Close that out. Okay, so the Komodo quick scan um, uh, found no issues, but it also it, it couldn't check for um, any updates. Okay, so the MSI soft also found no problems, but the signature is two days old, but still it found no no issues. Uh, malware bytes. Um, I think it did an update yesterday if I'm not mistaken. So we obviously have program data, app data, we've got a scheduled task and then a bunch of registry keys. Okay, so let's see what's installed. So obviously we have all these searcher programs that are installed on the machine and then there's a preliminary uh, Preston um, program. We only have one um, searcher here of for the Archibald machine. Okay, ESET was um, giving me a bit of issues, so I don't do the scan. Okay, so let's look at startup items. Okay, so startup items for the Archibald machine, we do have this one. Uh, seems to be partially broken. And uh, this one is still active. Okay, so we definitely have startup items. Um, on the Panda machine, we have quite a lot of startup items. Yeah, there's so many startup items, I don't want to count this. Um, I might need an abacus for this. Okay, so yeah, as you guys can see, <laughs> quite a lot of startup items, so that's really, really bad. Um, Archibald clearly in a, de in, in a better uh, condition. Okay, now let's look at our files quickly. Okay, so our downloads files have been infected, uh, documents have been infected, and our pictures are also infected with the Archibald machine. Okay, we still have that, that was downloaded during the malware test. Our files are intact and our picture seems good. Okay, so um, let's wrap this test up. Obviously disappointing results from Panda. I really, really thought and hoped that it would have actually made a test. So it is quite odd after the malware execution, uh, more of a um, post-infection. Um, that ransomware eventually crept 
um, out of its hole and then if it inv inv um, eventually infected this machine so that's really really sad um, really bad results um, from Panda um, so I can't really give um, any good feedback about this um, Archibit did it really really um, much better than Panda um, it obviously has its own, own problems we have no internet access on this machine anymore and the tray icon seems to be missing and um, we obviously do have startup items, registry infections and such the third party opinion scanners had no cloud access so um, their results also need to be taken with a pinch of salt but um, at least no ransomware infection um, you can still recover from this get your data just reload the machine and you should be good to go but yeah so between that this two you're better off with with Archibit so not bad results for Archibit um, disappointing results from Panda so not much more to say about that one but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video and this content um, give it a, a like um, I'll be making some more content soon I obviously have a lot of requests so I'll get to them um, not always in the exact same order that I do receive them but I'll get to your request um, as I'm working through the list but again guys thank you for supporting thanks for watching and I'll guys and I'll see you in the next one